Hello Lana, how do you do? Welcome again to Manifested Online Classes. My name is James Kenyani. We are going to proceed with our topic on area approximation. And today we are going to look at finding area using the trapezium rule. Finding area using the trapezium rule. So the main objective is actually to enable the learner to be able to calculate areas under curves using the trapezium rule. So just to emphasize, it is to enable the learner to calculate area under curves using the trapezium rule. And for, for that, we have a figure on the board, there is a curve, there is the x-axis, there is the y-axis, and there is the shaded region. So in the example, So the question goes, Lana, find the shaded area in figure A bounded by the curve, the curve, then the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x is equal to 7. Use trapezium rule and get the area using 8 ordinates, using 8 ordinates. So Lana, there are those who don't know ordinates. Ordinates are these heights from the base here to the top of the curve, to the top of the curve. So you'll write by trapezium rule, area will be equal to a half H, it was simplified to that, huh? ends plus twice middles. It was simplified to that. So where the ends are the first coordinate and the last ordinate. The first ordinate and the last ordinate. So ends would refer to the first and last ordinates. The first and the last ordinates. The middles we refer to them as the middle ordinates. That's a simplified method of working that. So we shall look at the ordinates. So the first ordinate is this one. Y0, that is the first ordinate, this one. Then we have Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, y6, y7. Adding the first one, you actually get the eight ordinates. And in the derivation of the formula, each of those strips was considered to be a trapezium. Each of those strips was considered to be a trapezium. That's why it worked out to this formula. It worked out to this formula. So simplifying the formula, the middles, you love to get there. The ends are the ends are y zero and y seven. The ends are y zero and y seven. Those are the first ordinate, 
and the last ordinate. Mid loops are mid loops are y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, and y6. Those are the me, the middle. So you'll actually get the value of each. You'll measure the value of each. So we start learner. Let's measure the value of each. The uh, unit, square unit, there is one, one. So you'll take that and measure. Take that and measure. So, so th this is the top. I'll measure that. I'll assume I'm beginning at zero here. So one, two, three, four, five, five point six. Y zero is five point six units. I'll come to Y one. Y one Lana. Y one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 6.5, 6.5, y1, 6.5, come to y2, y2 is actually 7, y2 is 7, y3, lana, y3, y3, It strikes seven again. We come to Y four. Y four. Y four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven point one. Seven point one Y five Y five seven point four Y five is seven point four Lana. Come to Y six. Y6, the second last, it is 7.8 units. And the last one, Y7. Y7, it is 8.2. Note that there is something also we have to get H. H is the width of the strip. H, the width of strip is equal to one, one unit. So you'll come and find the area by that method. So the area will be equal to a half times 1, you'll now su just substitute. We have h is 1 into y0 plus y7. Realize I've used the 8 ordinates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Close brackets plus twice eh? into y1 y2, y3, y4, y5, and y6. If I do that, I'll get my area. I'll actually get my area. Realize the ends. These are the ends, y0 and y7. These are the middle, middle ordinates. So I'll come in. I've got the values. Eh? 
So it's a half times one into y zero is five point six plus y seven. Y seven I got it as eight point two close brackets plus twice. Eh? Y1 is 6.5, Y2 is 7, Y3 is 7, Y4 is 7.1, Y5 is 7.4, and Y6 is 7.8. And I close there, bracket. So I'll simplify, this will be a half into 5.6 plus 8.2, I'll get 13.8. 13.8 plus twice eh? into, we shall have the easy way to count these. Eh? 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 7 is 20. 20 plus 7 is 27. 27 plus 7, 34. 34 plus 7 is 41. So it's 41. Then count the decimal places. 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.1 is 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6 plus 0. 0.4 is 1. 1 plus 0. 0.8 is 1.8. So it still come and finish off. It is a half into 13 plus 2 into 41 plus 1 is 42, 42.8 square units. So simplify 42, sorry, 42.8. So it will come here, 42.8 times 2. This will work to a half into 13. Double 42, you'll get 42.8 times 2, you'll get 85.6. 85.6. 85 plus 13 is 98. So it's a half times. 98.6. So this works to 49.3. So the area is equal to 49.3 square units. So Lana, that is how you work out the conditions given. This is the formula, the simplified formula. Instead of writing all these, you just say a half times the width of the strip, which is one, plus ends. Ends is the first and the last ordinate. The mid loops are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had six mid loops. So look at how we went through that. Look at the measurements, the first the last ordinate, the middle ordinates, the length. This refers to the ordinate. So with that, huh? with that learner, it will be a good moment for me to give you two sums huh? to work on that as the assignment. So, Lana, the questions come from there. In figure A on the board, one side of the square unit eh, represents 200 meters on ground. What will be the actual area of the shaded portion in hectares 
on ground. It's now just like a map. Two, in the figure A on the board, one side of the square unit represents 0 0.5 kilometers on ground. What will be the actual area in hectares of the shaded portion on ground? So thank you very much for the audience. Go and work uh, the two questions to give you uh, a quicker uh, understanding of relationship between the area and map. So thank you very much uh, for listening to me. Let's hope to meet in the next lesson. Thank you very much and bye-bye.